Lady Go! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lace Empress here, where spirituality is our fashion statement. Today we're going to do Pisces 2021 New Year Glow Up Reading. So we're going to get in tune and see what's going on with your New Year Pisces, your overall read what's coming in to you for the new year for love money and self-care okay pisces it is your turn you're next up in line thank you to all my subscribers and to those that are new please do not leave without pushing the like button sharing and subscribing so you can stay updated when i post new videos so you don't miss anything okay so, Pisces, 2021, glow up, new year, new day. New year, new day. Okay? New year, new day. So, while I was meditating on you guys' energy, um, I pulled two cards. Uh, two for your overall energy. One is the Acastic Tarot and one is a crystal. For the Acastic Tarot, you received the Six of Roses. And it says the war of roses so I, when i first seen the card i was like hmm what's going on with pisces so this is basically saying that whatever you're holding on to that you can't make a decision about now it's time for you to make a decision you're trying to bring something together that's not working you're trying to force something this could be in any sector or dynamic of your life it could be romantic it could be a uh, family it could be co-workers so anything that you're trying to pull together and then all of 2020, it's just like a magnet was pulling in the way. In 2021, you need to allow those things that are not working to just drop off and stop trying to force it to come together. Because in 2021, you basically need to lay the burden down. Whatever's burdensome to you, whatever is causing you pain, you need to let it go. Okay. So 2021 for my Pisces, you're going to let it go, honey. Let it go. It, it Let it go. It's getting on your nerves. You don't want to bring that type of energy over with you in 2021. When you come to 2021, your overall energy needs to be freeing. It needs to, you need to have the energy of let things be how they're going to be. Okay, because you have the six of roses, which is indicating that it's time for you to step up and do something for self. What works for you? If you're trying to pull two things together that's not working, then you need to decide on am I going to continue to do this or am I going to stop so I can be at peace for self? Because that's what you need right now to be at peace for self. 2021 Pisces, peace for self. That's what you need. Um, Your crystal here is the black tourmaline. And here you go so you can see that. It's really pretty. Black tourmaline. And when I was reading this crystal, it's a crystal of protection. So you don't have anything to worry about. If people drop off, if things drop off, you don't have to worry about it. You're protected by the universe. Anything that needs to get out of your life that's negative, this crystal will absorb that negativity and bring protection into your life. Move you out of the way of harm's way so you don't have to worry about any harm or anything coming into you. So your overall energy that's coming to you for 2021 is a very protective energy over your possessions, over your family, over your life. Everything is going to be protected. So you don't have to worry about letting go. It's okay. You can let it go so you can get new. You can get new. So it's, it also talks about having clarity of situations. So that goes back to your sense of roses. Whatever you're holding on to that's not working for you, you will receive clarity on how to move forward with those things. You definitely will receive some clarity. And it also talks about um, 
any toxic energy or anything that's not serving to your highest good this protection crystal will protect you from that type of energy and with the clarity that this protection crystal gives it will give you the energy of what is good for you and what is bad for you so it'll cut all those karmic ties that you have so this is really good because the energy that you're going to be in for 2000 no, I can't talk for 2021 is a freeing energy, like freeing yourself from things that no longer serve you, which is awesome because you will have a peace of mind. You will be able to walk around freely and happy, free and happy, free and happy. Okay, Pisces, I like how you starting off. We're going to get three cards for love and three cards for your finances money okay so let's see what you got going on here pisces your first card for love is showing up love begins oh so you are moving forward you are i think this is a lot of self-love too you putting love into yourself so that you can receive the love that's that's coming into you because this love is just pouring out here it's full of emotion full of prosperity you got a lot of earthy grains here a lot of things are going to be growing a lot of abundance is going to be coming into you into your love life you got a rainbow up top beautiful beautiful sunshine on this card this card is just full of so many beautiful colors and dynamic when whenever i see gold i always think of the sun or abundance uh, overflow of something because this card is just overflowing with emotion with love okay 2021 first card strongest energy oh, that's what i'm talking about pisces oh firm foundation so the love that's coming into your life this person that's coming into you is going to build the foundation with you you guys are going to have stability together so you guys are going to build strong foundations that's unbreakable because this red on this card is the base of the root chakra, which is grounding, which is foundation, which is the form of um, manifesting things in a physical form, which could be your stability, your health, your money, your shelter, the place where you lay your head. You guys are going to work on these things together. The love that's coming into your life, you guys will have a firm foundation, which is your security, which is your base chakra awesome and your last card for love is your throat chakra wow so a lot of communication coming in somebody's coming in to talk to you they want to discuss things with you they want to express themselves to show that they have a love for you mm. and they want to they want to tell you how they want this relationship to prosper, how they want it to grow, how they want it to free flow, and how how you guys are going to do this together. How you guys are going to incorporate this love, and how you guys are going to build this foundation together. That's what they're coming in to tell you. This person is also very intuitive. So when they come in, they're, they're, you guys are going to be on the same level mentally because both of you guys have that intuitive nature that will allow you to use your better judgment when it comes to love. This is awesome. So you're going to bring in this love by first loving yourself and getting rid of anything that doesn't serve you. Once you allow that process to happen, you're going to walk into this new love that's going to come in and be ready to work and build a foundation with you. And they will express themselves. You don't have to worry about, oh, if they, if they want to or what's going on with them, I don't understand. They're going to voice what they want to do, how they want to do it, and when they want to do it. They're going to be very clear, and you're not going to have to wonder or even second-guess this person because they're coming in very honest and very strong. If you look at this person on this card, they have a very strong back. Where is the camp? There we go. If you look at this person on the card, they have a very strong back. So they're coming in to work. They are prepared. They're ready to put in the work for this love. And they're going to tell you that also they're going to show you as well.
Let's go over here to your money. Let's see what's going on with your money section, Pisces, Pisces. Oh, hope, 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 hope. Keep hope alive. So I kind of feel with this that what you are praying for is going to conform into the physical because you're manifesting and you are keeping a positive attitude. So this right here tells me that you're going to get whatever you're asking for. Like your wish is going to be granted of whatever you're asking. This almost looks as if somebody is going to like give it to you. Like you're going to have some help with it. And this looks like the sun. And it's gold again. So that tells me abundance as well. Abundance in your finances. Triumph and success. Oh my goodness, Pisces. Y'all are killing it right now. Y'all are going to be successful and abundant in career. Successful and abundant with finances. Successful and abundant with whatever you are putting your mind to, to do. I don't know why I see um children so some of you guys may work with children some of you guys may um do something where it helps out children maybe even be like pediatricians or you want to go into that field you're going to be very successful in that very successful if you go into the medical field of some sort very successful what's the next one deception and envy so Immediately when I saw this card, I thought, don't be envious of any what anyone else has because you're going to get it as well. But also I get a, a energy of they're going to be jealous of your finances. Somebody's going to be jealous of your success. They're going to envy you because you have this love coming in. It's, you guys are going to build and be strong together. And you also have this... Um, this triumph and success and this hope that you will be successful in your career and your finances will be successful. So whoever this is, this deception and envy, this kind of goes back to your overall with your six of roses of you trying to pull somebody along and trying to take them with you that cannot go with you in 2021. So you're going to have to let go of some things or you may have to deal with this envy and deception because you're going to have, you may even have people around you that are already jealous of you. You just don't know it all the way. So you may want to be careful with that as well. You may want to consider your circle. Consider your circle, Pisces. Consider your circle because you don't want to have deceptive energy and people around you that's not on your team. It could possibly so slow your progress down. Because you're trying to accommodate people that are not trying to accommodate you or they're not on the same team as you. So you might want to definitely, definitely, definitely be careful with that. Because those type of people, they stay close to you so they can watch you. They stay close to you so they can feed off of your good energy. And also they stay close to you to try to get in your head, to try to slow you down, to deter you from your goal. And your goal in 2021 is to stay focused, to know, to be hopeful and positive and know that you're going to get this, this triumphant success. It don't just say success. It says triumphant success, which means overly exceeding a lot of abundance that you have worked so hard to get. Okay, Pisces, but you just need to clear out this deception and envy energy that I'm feeling. I think that it's coming from somebody that you would least expect. Um, and you might not even talk to this person every day. It even it might even be a coworker because this is your finance section. It could definitely be a coworker or somebody you share your creative ideas and thoughts with. Somebody that could be like, well, how do they come up with this? Why are they so smart? You know, you you need to be mindful of that because people can have a jealous streak. So be mindful of those people that are showing, not showing support to you that you consider close. Okay, we gonna move on. <laughs> 
Let's go. I think y'all got the point. So now, because you worked on yourself, you got rid of this negative energy. You're doing so well. We're going to see what you need to surrender to keep your peace of mind for 2021. New year, new day. Y'all glowing up. What's the surrender message? Spirit, guys. Holy Spirit, what's the surrender message? Okay. Surrender to trust. I think one of my other signs got this. Wow. Okay. Everybody getting similar messages. Surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Trust yourself, Pisces. You got this. You know what to do. Don't let this person, this deceptive or this envious person come over on your path and your journey telling you, no, nah, I don't think you should do that. That don't sound right. They hate you. Trust yourself. You know what to do. Trust yourself. Pray about it. You know what to do. You've done the work. You understand what's next in your life. You understand what the plan is. You understand what your spirit guides are telling you to do and which way they're telling you to move. You know which way to go. So surrender to trust. Surrender to trusting your inner self. Surrender to trust and trust your inner knowing, your intuition. Trust yourself to make the right decision and don't listen to other people's opinion because your path is different than theirs see god gave you the path not them so sometimes when you share your path with other people they'll tell you oh no i don't think that's gonna work that's because they're not at the level that you are at this is your journey that god gave you so someone else may not comprehend as well because their journey is different so don't expect every time for somebody to be in agreement with you because that's why it says surrender to trust. You have to trust yourself that you're making the proper decision based off of the journey that God wants you to go on and not no one else. Okay. Pisces y'all getting deep water signs. Love to go take me deep. It's okay. It's okay. I don't mind <laughs> going deep. All right. Let's get a gift. What's a gift from God that he, he's going to bless you with in 2021? What's going on? 2021. These cards do not want to shuffle right. I don't know what's going on with these. Let's give it a try. 2021. What's a gift from my Pisces? Gratitude. Ooh. Gratitude. I like it. I like it. Gratitude. Don't get big-headed. You're going to be very successful. So this is just a friendly reminder that God is going to bless you with gratitude. You're going to be able to stay the same as far as being, showing some humility. Being um, buried down to earth, not losing focus. Not losing focus. Stand in focus with yourself, with your inner zen is what i like to say your inner zen being very grateful being understanding and still also having compassion and understanding as you go up up and up in your career and in your in your love life because there's going to be many people that envy all of these good things that you're going to receive in 2021 so you still have to stay humble and show gratitude that you're grateful for having these things. Don't lose your focus. Don't lose your focus. It's an awesome reading. This is just confirmation that you're going to receive great things. Don't lose your focus. Okay. So this last section, I'd just like to leave off on a good note about yourself, Pisces, that you already have. Like some characteristics that you may know you have or that you don't know that you have that you may need to tap into for 2021, okay? So let's get two archetypes, one or two. We'll see what comes out. One or two archetype cards, these are characteristics, and we'll see how they apply to your reading.
pocket type card for my pipe up. Oh. Pipe piece. Cards on the fly. Okay. And let's get one more for my Pisces. One more archetype for my Pisces. All right. We got two cards. First one says detective. Great powers of observation and intuition. Desire to seek out truth. Okay. I believe this goes with your financial side. This is basically a financial career professional. This is basically saying that you have great intuition. You know what you need to do next. You know what's, you have a plan already for your career. You know what's next. I don't know why I keep saying, seeing children when I see career, that may be something personal for a small group of Pisces that's watching the video. But you may have um, something that you need to use your intuition about for your career path. This person that may be deceptive may be a coworker or someone that you work with professionally. And you're trying to figure out what's going on and why they're like that. It's a good trait, but sometimes you guys got to leave people alone. That's just my personal opinion. <laughs> Moving on. Um, the next characteristic that you have, and the very last one, is servant. It's delight in serving others with a free and loving heart. This is definitely for your love section. So you and your partner, you're going to give to them by serving them without expecting anything back. If you see this lady on the car, she is actually... Looks like she's going up some stairs with a bowl. Looks like some, maybe it could be some soup, some good stew, some good soup. You know, it's cold outside where I'm at, so all those type of foods are very comforting. So maybe, you, maybe you're the cooker in the house. Maybe you show your love to your partner by cooking for them. You show your love to your partner by maybe running them a warm bath or even just giving... Um, a nice massage but you're doing something freely and with a loving heart it's not necessarily anything you can buy this is something that you do from the heart is something thoughtful so that would be definitely awesome in your romantic and love life so this person is coming in to build a stable firm foundation which includes your stability so they might have a little money. I see money in there. I see this person is coming with something. They're not empty handed. So that's absolutely good. So they're going to match. They're going to match you when it comes to finances. They're going to be able to pour into it and not just take it away. Okay, Pisces. So this has been your 20. 21 glow up new year new day reading hopefully you enjoyed it you got some good information and some goodness coming into your life for 2021 you guys enjoy your holiday and your new year and until next time let intuition be your guide